Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. I uh, hope you're well, wherever you are in the world. Now, I recently took my traditional one-day trip to the races here in the UK. I usually take my X70, but this year I decided on taking my Fujifilm X100 VI, or 6, as some of you may call it. And so I thought I'd share some of the images with you today. All the images in this video are edited with my Film Edition 3 Lightroom presets using the Tri-X Style 2024 profile. You can actually see color versions using the Tetrachrome profile on my blog, which I'll link to below, and you can still get a 20% discount using the code YT24. I actually didn't see another normal camera on my day at the races. Of course, hundreds of mobile phones and selfies were on show, but I thought it interesting that I didn't spot any other small compact cameras at all. I had checked beforehand and large DSLRs were banned. However, compact cameras were allowed, and indeed, during my body check upon entering, the chap extolled the virtues of my little X100 VI, or 6, and said, nice to see a proper camera going in for a change. Now, I had the Fujifilm X100 VI, or 6, set to IBIS enabled for the full day, though given the reasonable light, it probably wasn't needed, as you'll see from the EXIF data. Now, I'm not actually a great fan of horse racing at all, and certainly not gambling. However, we go once a year to Jolly Boys out in, and generally I'm mostly looking forward to the curry at the end of the night. We actually own a horse ourselves, and my daughter rides one uh, a lot, and uh, it's a lovely little thing. And so for me, I tend not to actually watch the horses jumping over the jumps and running around as much as I think they enjoy it. I'm preferring to just looking at the people. And so what I do love about this event is that I can get up close and personal and people watch. While I wouldn't classify this at all as street photography, I do classify it as environmental candid photography. And I love watching and photographing people in various states of happiness and despair. One of the concerns people seem to have about the new Fujifilm X106 is battery life. I've seen this quite a few times on comments on my previous review and on my website. 
with the latest sensor and IBIS, would it lose some of its ability to shoot all day? Well, I took north of a thousand photographs on the day with IBIS running continuously and still came home with two bars left on my battery. I am told that the new processor is far more power efficient, so I was happy to just go with one battery for the whole day and it worked out perfectly fine. There was actually a comment on my review post saying that I was talking BS by saying the new sensor offers much more detail than that found in the X100V. Well, of course, everybody's entitled to their opinion, um, but I think I can safely stay, say that that statement is not a BS at all. And a lot of these images are close crops, and I certainly wouldn't have had the same latitude to crop as much with the previous camera. I'm very much of the opinion that the X-Trans 5 sensor offers us photographers much more detail both in dynamic range and pixels to play with and I really enjoyed editing these images and as you can see the crops are quite tight in some cases and for the vast majority of them absolutely no issues whatsoever on these tight crops. Now, I know a lot of you are still waiting for your new cameras. Uh, I'm one of those people too, actually, believe it or not. This particular camera is the loan copy from Fujifilm and that will be going back to uh, Fujifilm UK. They'll send it back to Japan probably very soon. So I'm in the same situation. I'm still waiting for mine. Um, I'll be very sad to see this particular one go and I will be very happy when mine finally turns up and I'm buying it just like everybody else. So I'll continue to show a few more images, but mostly this video really is to give you some more images to look at from the X100 VI or 6. Uh, and uh, I don't really need to go over everything I covered in my review. You can uh, look at that yourself another time. But in summary, the new camera is a great thing, I believe, a big upgrade from the X100 V. Um, but as I always say, just because a new one is released doesn't mean the previous one becomes bad. If you have an X100V or T or S or F for that matter, and it does what you need to it to, then stick with it. There's no need for you to upgrade unless you need the new features. Uh, however, for me, I know that IBIS will be useful, certainly in low light, and I love the new 40.2 megapixel sensors. Extra versatility. See you next time, my friends. <laughs>